So I've decided now that I have eight subscribers, I'm officially absolutely famous in every way. I'm waiting on my YouTube plaque as we speak, and to top that all off, I stopped giving a fuck about all my fans. In every way. Aloha, boys and girls. How are we doing? Halloween is like in three days, and I'm having the most stressful time of my life right now. Let me tell you. So, with Halloween around the corner, um, there's a couple things I need to tell you, even though there is only eight of you. That's five. I know numbers. But, Recently, a friend of mine on Reddit sent me a map, like a really big map. In fact, he gave us a map with 75 locations. And I'm losing my shit. Like, that's so many. But we're gonna try and do every single one of them. I mean, they're just some crazy awesome places. Like this place. What I'm trying to say is, Please stay tuned and subscribe to me because I'm poor. But in reality, for all eight of you that are out there that watch my videos, I appreciate it. I mean, you're kind of just doing this for yourself when you have eight subscribers, but it's nice to know there's a couple people out there that occasionally maybe browse the videos. But we have a lot more coming. Me, Josh, Patrick, Austin, we'd be going freaking everywhere. I mean, just the other day, we were two hours away in North Jersey. You were gonna see that video today, but you're not because I still use iMovie 2008 and shit fucks up real easily. Sorry. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, my teeth look disgusting. My face looks disgusting. So, Generally, what I'm trying to say is, is that we have so much freaking planned. On Halloween, I'm going to be in New York with Josh, Patrick, blah, Austin, blah, you know the crew. And we're going to a place called King's Park Asylum. I mean, I know it's a big destination, but it's our first asylum, and at this point, like, we're desperate just to go to one. We've always wanted to. All the ones near us either have closed down, heavily guarded, or totally been knocked down. So, it's kind of like... We're just trying to find one. Just freaking one. Ah. But on top of that, I also wanted to talk to you today about some quick tips and tricks and shits so that way when you decide, if you ever do decide, to go exploring, at the very least, to those other people that are not even going to watch the videos, here's some tips for you. Number one, my first tip to you is bring multiple flashlights. If you don't, you're gonna hate yourself at some point. Number two, it's really, really important to make sure you go with the buddy system. Never just go into an area totally alone. While you hear all the horror stories, and I'm gonna be the first one to tell you, it's just not true. At the same time, the biggest thing you have to fear in this world, especially in this area, is gonna be people. You never wanna go alone. You never wanna go into a half of a building alone. I always suggest at least having one buddy, even if he's just in the general area. It's not good to go off totally on your own just because generally you don't know what's gonna happen. And the farther you are from everyone else, the less likely you're gonna have of getting out of there A-OK -okay with zero scratches. And the biggest, biggest thing I always hear people say when they're just trying to get into this, not even a film, just to like get into it, is that people always tell me, hey, how the hell do you find locations? I mean, I just told you I found a map with 75, but apart from that, up until right now, every location that we've been to has simply been look around when you're driving. If you just look around you, in all honesty, 
If you're just looking from here to there to here to there, eventually on your daily routine or on some other routine that you may have to drive on an unlikely basis, you're gonna run into something that's like, hey, that looks really abandoned. Pull up to it, scout it out, and see what's up with it. That's how I found a lot of locations. Some of the best locations I found that way, in fact. I mean, you just gotta look around you. They're all around. And once you start seeing them, you don't stop seeing them. But that's the biggest tip I can get for you. I used to spend hours, hours, looking for locations on the internet. Just hours, we just sit there, just freaking Google searching fucking everything. So you'll be Google searching away, just looking, and looking, and looking. Three hours later. And I guarantee you, you will spend three hours, especially if you're looking for popular places. And if you're not looking for popular places, you have zero chance. You realize you spent the entire day, all the sunlight in the world, looking for this place, just to get some real half-assed directions like you're gonna go, you're gonna look for a rock on this specific highway. Somewhere on this highway, there's one rock. You need to find that rock. Then after you find that rock, you gotta look for a sign. It's unspecific, it's just a blank sign on the side of the road next to a rock. And then there, you're gonna travel 85 kilometers east and then five kilometers west and then you're gonna need to get out your satellite phone to call for help because I'm fucking with you bruh there ain't even nothing there you need to get involved in the community as well you want locations it's so simple go to reddit go to your friends on Facebook Instagram find people that take pictures in your local area and ask them hey dude where the fuck did you take that picture my dick got hard when I saw it and I would love to go there and have my erection be seen by the place that the picture was up. And that's why we don't use the Google, cause the Google is very bad. Bad Google. So there you go, my few unspecific tips. I will see you in the next video. God bless, happy Halloween, and hopefully you stay tuned, and hopefully this somehow helped in some really unhelpful way. Peace. Peace. Where the fuck is that? I'm just gonna go.